Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am here with Dr. Panina Stewart. We are actually gonna be not only showing what my nine months looks like, obviously, but for you guys today we're gonna to be talking about my plan for the next hair transplant procedure I'll be doing in September. Super excited to do that. Um, wait until about month 14 or 15 to do that. And what are, what are we at right now, month nine? Nine and a half almost. Nine and a half, yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Hi, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Uh, I think it's a fantastic result for nine months. It will continue to improve up until 12, 13 months after the procedure from the first uh, procedure. But now with the second in September, we will detail the front, increase the density, put about uh, uh, probably about uh, eight to 900 single hair grafts in front again for densification detailing on the front hairline. And then we we'll put uh, uh, two and three hair grafts behind and work through the uh, anterior scalp and through the vertex up, and, up until the crown. Uh, and we'll put probably another 1,200 grafts in that uh, area f for density. There'll be a small crown uh, uh, area that is left and we will address it later down the road uh, and I expect to have that similar density which you see here all through the vertex and the crown. Brian has beautiful dot area that is healed fantastic very good density nice body hair uh, parietal areas are completely uh, virgin that we will use some of uh, those areas uh, preferentially next time. Uh, overall, very good result and a very motivated and uh, excellent patient. Question for you: How many grass do you think I have left for donor total? You uh, You have. Uh, you have probably at least. Uh, nine to ten thousand left wow yeah yeah that's yeah, a lot yeah it's a lot that's a lot that's a lot but we have to have a lot uh, but because uh, it has to uh we have to be able to uh, uh basically, 5, 000, basically. Look, yeah pull out and so uh, not uh, without basically any detriment to the to your look so yeah. uh, without thinning the donor area so cool. that's important well, that's good well excited yeah. to do it we're Hopefully excited. you guys are excited to see us. Absolutely, 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 absolutely. Here, spin around just a little bit, Brian, so we can get a complete view of everything. Oh, yep. That's good. Perfect. Dancing stands perfect. That's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> I hope you're excited for the next one to two years of updates coming for my hair transplant, as I already have two more transplants planned. One is already booked for September 15th, as you saw in this video, and I'll be doing approximately 2,000 and 2,500 grafts. Just to recap what Dr. Pino was saying, we will be detailing the front with a bunch of single hair grafts, about 900 hopefully, and then doing the mid ground that I didn't touch last time with two to three hair grafts to thicken that up and hopefully give a lot of density and allow me to do a full hair spike instead of just the front half, which is cool and all, but yeah, anyway, definitely not what I want. So. Um, guys, but I am really excited. I got about another 20 to 25% of hair growth and thickening to go. So I am excited to see the outcome as we get to it. And that's why I am waiting to month 14 to go in for a second hair transplant. Um, I also will be doing something very exciting and something you're going to want to watch later. I will be shaving my head in August. So August, I will shave my head before I go in for another hair transplant fully. Uh, a few weeks before, so I have some hair growth when I go in. But I'm going to shave it entirely off so you guys can see what the transplanted hair area looks like. And we get a really, really good visual when we get the actual next hair transplant of where we're adding and how much we're adding so we can see the change um, after the one year mark. So I'll be about 13, 14 months when I do that first you know, shave, all the way to 24 months where I'm two years in with a second hair transplant. Or sorry. sorry one year with the second hair transplant, two years with the first. So that should be where I'll look really, really epic. Um, I also will be doing SMP uh, after the second hair transplant, I think. 
um, maybe after the third, but I'd like to do it to the second ideally, and then go in for a third hair transplant a little further down the line if it's necessary for the crown. I'm hoping to get with all the stuff I'm doing a little more of my crown area back and uh, with the second hair transplant, hopefully I like my hair enough that I can just sit on it for a while and not do the third hair transplant. But as you heard, I will have about 4,500 or 5,000 grafts that I can still move for hair transplants from the top of my head. I still have my chest. I still haven't touched my beard if I want to go in that. Um, I am, of course, looking at that as options for future hair transplants. I am, of course, looking at that as an option of what I can do. So I will probably end up having three to four or five even hair transplants if I decide to touch my beard or my chest because those are much smaller and they're more like, you know, touching up like the crown areas for the most part um, or yeah. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.